hello hello my beautiful people i hope you guys are having an amazing week um, well i impose this super challenge on myself that i have to make a video every day in the next 20 days or so uh, so please wish me luck here's ganesh uh, in order to support me i hope he will uh, do google ganesh it's a hindu deity of creativity and you know uh, intellectual pursuits and remover of barriers if you don't know what it is and here is Buddha uh, so let's begin but I decided that today's reading will be on topic uh, how will your future spouse treat you so uh, your future spouse or it can also be applied to life partner we are checking to see how will they treat you Let's begin with the first pile. How will your future spouse treat you? So, we are using Vedic Astrology, we are using Tarot, but let's see. How will your future spouse treat you? First pile. Take messages that resonate. There's many things here already. How will they treat you? So I am already getting the vibe, but let me see. Take one here also. So where, what I can see immediately, this is somebody who mm, they will expect some type of traditional roles in that marriage and that relationship. So if you are uh, desiring a partner who likes, you know, um, masculine energies to do what they do and feminine to feminines to do uh, also what's traditionally. Uh, adequate this is the right person for you that uh, your future spouse so this is something really significant i am getting that they will be uh, despite being in this uh, traditionally well-adjusted relationship they will also be supportive of your individuality they will be uh, um, how do i say you this supporting your individual ambitions and goals so this is something really significant i'm getting that this person will have a very deep perspective on life on, on everything and they will want you to uh, they will also make you expand your horizons you know uh, I'm getting that they will teach you many things uh, and I am getting that this is somebody who was very burdened by their heartache in the past so uh, this may be somebody who may seem a little bit reserved from the beginning however uh, I'm getting that you will be attracted to that because uh, for those of you who are attracted to masculine type of energies, you will be attracted how um, to themselves they are, uh, to their sense of fierceness and uh, solidness inside of themselves. So this is something really beautiful that I see about this connection. I am getting that this person will be spoiling you financially, uh, whether you are a guy or a woman, they will be... Uh, wanting you wanting to see you you know beautifully dressed they will be giving you you money for your i don't know clothes uh, and things of that nature uh and i am getting that this person will love to indulge into life's uh hedonisms and luxuries with you guys so they will have this taste for finer things in life so with the leos in second house uh, this is something i'm i'm getting strongly uh, and also with the Leo in the second house, I'm getting they will be adamant about uh, buying a place, buying an apartment, a flat, uh, perhaps more than one, because Leo, uh, wherever he sits, uh, he represents the royal quality about that house and second house is our fixed asset. So I'm getting that this person may have more than one condo uh, and this will be a really significant thing about them. 
uh, I am getting they, that they will be a little bit possessive and uh, controlling. So for those of you who dig that type of a partner, I'm getting that you will feel very protected in this relationship because this person was, will be very territorial. Uh, and I'm getting, especially when you are out and all dressed and looking fine and nice and elegant, that's the that's the times when they will be especially cautious and, uh, how do I say, guarded uh, around you. So this is something something really significant to consider about, about them with the North Node in the ninth house. I'm getting the due to impact of this person, many of you will further your scholarships or maybe uh, do another college, uh, attend courses. Uh, I am getting that this will be a relationship that will uh, give you some type of positive push and challenge. So I'm getting that this person will and they're entering in your life will mark this period in your life when you guys will be... Uh, how do I say, uh, more adamant about your own success and goals. So this is something really significant. With the Cancer in the 11th house, uh, what I'm getting strongly that this person will insist uh, that you guys have this solid circle of mutual friends uh, and this will be something that's very important to them, you know, uh, because Cancer represents what's really... Uh, necessary for our heart, for our peace of mind, for our emotion, emotional tranquility and this is love reading so uh, one thing that they will demand from you will be that you guys uh, have to be you know also connecting with other people uh, inside of that relationship so this is something great uh, for me with the Jupiter in the 8th house, as I already said, there, there will be some benefits when it comes to spouse's money because 8th uh, house will represent in astrology spouse's money and Jupiter uh, is like God given luck on those matters. So I'm getting that they will give you a credit card or something like that uh, to your disposal. I'm getting that you will dig that, that about them. Uh, quite strong uh, but let me see what else we have here with the mercury in the first house i'm getting this person will uh, push you to um, try and be good toward your physical health toward uh, things of that nature so uh, it will be really important to them uh, that you are maintaining yourself so uh, as I already said this is not the type of a relationship where you will be bored because you will mutually constantly be striving toward something so uh, this is something really significant and I like it um, but let me see what else we have I am hearing strongly also that this person will want to benefit your family to like uh, uh, which means their father-in-law, mother-in-law, sister, brother-in-law, things of that nature. They would want to be included and they would also want to support them in some uh, type, shape or uh, way. So this is really significant about this file. Um, with the Mars in the first house, yes, they will be very domineering type. Uh, they will be wearing the pants in the relationship, um, but they will do it in um, kind of not overly aggressive Aries type of even little bit childish way. Um, so this is something I'm getting strongly from them. But let me see what else. I am getting for some of you that they may be asking you to abandon your job so that you can devote yourselves uh, to a family. So for those who are, who are interested in a housewife thing of housewife type of relationship, uh, I am getting that you will get the spouse who will enable you to have this lifestyle. However, don't take it as granted, you know, it's not for, for all of you. Uh, so I'm not getting that as something that they will impose onto you. However, I am getting that they will be like, you know what, work if you want to, if you don't want, be here in the home, take care of the home, take care of the... Uh, 
uh, our family close one and extended one uh, I will be more than glad to uh, push thing, things uh, financially for both of us so this is something really significant I am also getting that some of you may start some type of business mutually with this person uh, so as I already said many benefits when it comes to this relationship you know uh, and I am getting that people will be um, having envy toward you guys for having this type of spouse uh, because I am getting that uh, your spouse will be perceived as somebody who is having a lot of resources and like just life options you know uh, so you will be perceived as one who is married well or married into a well family uh, something of that nature so but let me see if we have anything else really significant I am getting that they will, for whatever reason, despite uh, those strong, traditionally masculine values, they will be um, good with cooking, so they may spoil you with their cooking uh, skills. And I am getting this something that you guys will strongly enjoy when it comes to this person. Mm, yes, but uh, we can end it here. Uh, this was our first pile. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, like and subscribe. And let's go on. Let's go on to the second pile. Second pile. So what we are asking today is how will your future spouse treat you? How will your future spouse treat you? Here we have the blessing of Ganesh, he is on the table. <laughs> but let's see, how will your future spouse treat you? How will they treat you? So we will take some Vedic astrology placements as always in my readings if you are new. But let's see. As well as Tarot. I will take a couple more because on some cards I don't have placements. But let's see. Let me tell you some, something, this is the type of a connection that will come out of nowhere, so you won't be able to predict this person or their coming, your intuition won't be working, they will come absolutely in a moment where you are absolutely not, not expecting that, so this will be quite a shock for you guys when this person enters your life, and I am getting they will be quick to enter your life and to propose their desires and, and ambitions when it comes to you guys as a couple. So I'm getting this is somebody who will be open in expressing themselves, you know, uh, they won't hide their feelings, you will know where you stand with them, there won't be any mind games, you know, and this is something really beautiful that I see from this connection. Uh, what I see also is that this person will uh, release you of many self-imposed uh, prison type of thoughts, thoughts like uh, I'm getting you will become more secure in yourself, in your confidence, in your uh, demeanor, in your way that you guys look, I'm getting this person will elevate your consciousness because I'm getting they will be constantly uh, praising your physical looks besides everything this person is I'm getting will be absolutely enamored by your physical looks uh, you will be like uh, nobody ever praised me that much as this person you know because I am getting there there will be some crazy physical chemistry with this person so that will also be the reason why um, they will act in such a way you know um, 
they will be quite an individualistic person so uh, in the beginning or in the beginning stage stages of marriage or more serious relationship you may have little bit of thoughts like can I tame them you know uh, be, because they will be very much unrestricted and inhibited type of personality however I do see some solid traditional values which is I mean you will have same system of values so that will, won't be problem you know uh, and this is according to my opinion the most important thing in any relationship in any uh, more serious love relationship so uh, the most important thing is that you both have same system of values not like one wants monogamy the other one wants uh, polyamory or something like that and you can't agree you are not on the same page however I see that here you will be on the same page but you will also have that freedom to you so this is something really uh, beautiful with Leo in the second house I am getting that this person will always be taking you on the most majestic dinners so I'm getting your dates with this person will uh, mostly be dinners you will always be eating something uh, and it will be like the most majestic meals that you guy, guys ever tried so this is something really beautiful with the sun in the tent house what I'm getting with this is um, this person will look very authoritative to the other people and I am also getting for some of you that you will gain some type of fame because Sun and Ten House both uh, correlate in uh, Vedic Astrology with fame uh, you will be getting some fame uh, due to this person so they may be influencer, celebrity, musician somebody who is in the eye of the public so this is something really uh, significant here Mm -hmm. with the Aries in the 10th house and as I already said this person will be, be very um, dominant when it comes to their approaching of you uh, for example I had this situation where a guy approached me where I was on a date with another guy so this, that is the type of an energy that you can expect from this person I mean they won't be caring uh, even if you are in another relationship they will approach you, they will snatch you you know, uh, go away with you into the sunset. I'm liking this uh, this energy. So this is something really beautiful. With the Mars and Scorpio, I'm getting that this person will make you change some type of identity, uh, and this is something really significant. Um, so I am also hearing it will be really smaller portion, but uh, those who are part of LGBT, this person may open you to the same sex relationships or uh, for example if you are bi but mostly dating uh, I don't know guys as a woman they may open you up uh, to the same sex or there will be something about uh, change of sexual identity related to this person or if you were for example overly submissive in bedroom you may become much more dominant due to impact of this person so this is something really beautiful I am getting that they will be very gallant and romantic. They will be probably love bombing you and sending you flowers uh, on the work. And uh, for those who really dig that style style of dating, uh, this will be beautiful for you. I'm getting that you will like that. Uh, let me see what else we have. What else am I getting here that's really significant? With the Mars in Taurus, I am getting that this person, first of all, may learn you something about finance. So you may learn a new skill uh, that will improve your finances due to this person for whatever reason. I'm hearing that as well. Uh, but let me see what else we have. They will have, we do have this Mercury in Cancer, so... I'm getting uh, that they will be very emotional in their uh, way of talking to you. Uh, I'm getting for this pile they will also be in touch with their feminine side. So they won't be just a tough masculine guy or I don't know, um, whatever you prefer. So this is something really uh, significant. 
Mm, but what is really interesting here, what I'm getting is how per this person will be nonchalant overachiever when it comes to your relationship and life in general. They, they will do, I'm getting such an amazing uh, things uh, without even thinking about it. Uh, really Aries type of energy, so uh, Google that, uh, those of you who are not acquainted, I'm liking it very much. Uh, but let me see what else we have, have here. This person will want me to make a legacy, they will want a lot of children, you know, all the white picket fence and the dog and uh, everything that comes... Uh, just everything that most people imagine when they think about marriage, so uh, I am getting this like really devoted but like marriage with your best friend at the same time vibe, so uh, this is something really beautiful. But this was our second pile, if you like this reading, like and subscribe and thank you for listening.